Yo, what is going on, you guys? So, today I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. In today's video, I will be bringing guys this week's episode of Top 5 Sports Cards on Absolute Fire. Um, this week, there were a lot more than 5 on fire. Super hard to choose, but I basically chose 5 that I think I could give some good insights on. Um, definitely some cards that, you know, I've been asked questions about a lot. So, I'm looking forward to that. Before we get into that, I do want to say, as you guys know, I have my Sports Card Invest membership program um it's basically 6.99 for the month or 40 hours for the year you can go ahead and use code youtube for 10 percent off but um recently we've be just been on fire um i've would basically last week i saw these lamar jacksons go up psa 10s go up to 1400 um psa 9s were sticking at just 200 dollars. so i went ahead told all my you know members to go ahead and buy them because obviously i saw that was super underpriced Basically, there were one seventh the price of a PSA 10, and um, we went ahead and bought a lot of these. My members and I, um, I've had a, so many people de message me on Instagram saying that they've made a lot of money because right now they're going for around $600. Um, and this week, we do have a lot more undervalued finds like that. Um, I have found about four or five more cards where the PSA 9 is just like one sixth the price of a PSA 10. So if you guys would like to see all my picks um, and make some money with us, go ahead, click the link below to sportscardsinvest.com and go ahead and sign up if you would like to make some money with us. We've been absolutely killing it these past few weeks, honestly. And um, I'm really excited to continue to do this and make you guys some good money. Um, but yeah, without further ado, we're going to hop right into this video. So the first card we do have that has been going absolutely crazy is Kemba Walker's PSA 10 Prism 2012. Um, Kemba's cards have been absolutely fire lately. Um, obviously, this is um, partially obviously because he's on the Celtics who have a good chance in the East um, with Tatum and Kemba. Um, definitely like this investment for a while. Kemba was someone who hadn't got much market attention um, prior to this, you know, past month, honestly. Um, if we date back just three weeks ago, um, he was selling for around 300 bucks. If we date back another week, he was selling for around $200. Um, so that's quite crazy how recently they've been going for around $500. Um, yeah, that's more than doubled in a span of two weeks. Um, Kemba is one guy who, you know, he's a clutch player, honestly. And the Celtics, with their chance in the East, I really like his cards still. I would say, obviously, the boat has partially sailed. You can no longer get these for $200. Um, and obviously, 2012 Prism is so hot. Um, everyone wants their piece in 2012 Prism. Um, these were literally selling for $100. You know, $130, $150 just, you know, two months ago. So this is a quite crazy steep increase. Um, I think Kemba Walker is going to have some more, you know, juice in him. I think there is more room for this to go up. I would probably plan on selling if I had any, you know, in the middle of the playoffs when the hype is at a peak. Um, is definitely a good time to unload. But yeah, I definitely, if you guys invested in Kemba, um, I had recommended him on some weekly reports of mine. So if you guys did invest in him, um, that's quite good, obviously. Um, and I hope you guys continue to make some money. I can still see some wiggle room on this. Um, and maybe, you know, you could potentially see it at, you know, six, $700 if he play, continues to play well. Um, so next up, we do have Kyle Kuzma. If you guys are unaware, Kyle Kuzma had a crazy monster game yesterday. Um, he scored around 25 points, I believe 25 points. Um, and his cards have been going quite, you know, going up a significant amount. They're around 180 is the most recent sale. If we date back a few days, I believe you could have got him for around 140. Um, so yeah, around 144, you know, two weeks ago. That's a pretty good increase. Um, definitely Kuzma is someone who's super unpredictable. Um, he could come out and score 25. He could, you know, go 0 for 8 and score 2 points, right? So, you know, Kuzma is one of those guys that's 
flipping a coin. I find it a little bit of a gamble, but I can still see if he continues to play like this, you know, I can see his prices going up a lot. I'm just kind of concerned when the actual games come back and LeBron and Anthony Davis take over the team um, because obviously that's how they're going to win. Um, I don't know where Kuzma's role is going to play. You know, I don't know what role Kuzma is going to play. That's for the Lakers coaches to decide, but yeah, definitely a gamble in my opinion, but you know, he has gone up quite a lot lately, which is definitely pretty cool. Um, and next up, we do have Kobe Bryant. Yes, he's back in the hobby. Um, Kobe's cards have been going quite crazy, honestly. PSA 9's recently selling for around $500. Um, you definitely love to see a legend like Kobe get this much attention. He definitely deserves it. Um, Kobe is one guy who's just super iconic. No one will ever forget Kobe. If you think of three basketball players, um, in my opinion, that's LeBron, MJ, Kobe. Um, Kobe's cards have been on quite steep rise lately. Um, they were selling for, you know, under $400 just three weeks ago. Um, we're going to go ahead date back to that. And just definitely going up quite a lot. As you guys can see, $425 just two weeks ago. Less than two weeks ago. Um, and $400 around two weeks ago. So... Definitely, you know, a $100 increase in two weeks is not bad at all. Um, I think Kobe's cards continue, you know, long term. This is one of my best holes. Um, I'm basically just holding on these Kobe's. Um, and I can see them going for, you know, thousands down the line. Because if you guys see where LeBron's cards are going, if you see where MJ's cards are, you know, Kobe, obviously I'm not saying he's a LeBron or MJ. But, you know, he should be in their ballpark, I would say. You know, if LeBron's tops PSA 9 is going for a 1200, you know, maybe Kobe should be, you know, 7 800, right? So, definitely something to think about. Definitely think he's still a good investment right now at his current prices. And yeah, you definitely love to see the hobby showing some love to Kobe, the one and only Kobe Bean Bryant. But yeah, without further ado, we're going to hop right into the next up, which is a little bit cheaper of an investment. We do have Trey Young's second year. Prism Silvers. Um, I definitely think this is still a good investment as well. Um, as you guys can see over here, we're going to go ahead into sold listings. Uh, most recently, these have been selling for $46 for a Silver Prism Raw second year Trey Young. And if we date back just a few weeks ago, um, they were going for a lot less. So if you guys were if you guys have been on my membership program, I've been telling you guys to buy these for a while now. Um, I believe I was recommending them under $15, and right now they're like $46. So you definitely love to see it. As you guys can see, literally, um, these would sell. I don't think that's a silver, but we do have some. Okay, so as you guys can see over here, you could get an Optic Hollow and Prism Silver for $26 around two weeks ago. And now you can only get a Prism Silver for, you know, $46. So, you know, definitely you see the rise on Trey. Really like it. As his rookies continue to rise, which I believe his rookies are still undervalued. As you guys compare to guys like Tatum, you know, Trey is still very undervalued. But... Yeah, Trey definitely has some room to grow. Um, his second years have a lot of room to go up. If you guys can see what happened to Luka Doncic's second year Prism Silvers, um, definitely can see Trey's doing you know better, continuing to go up. And I really like his second year Hollows as well, which have not gone up as much lately. Um, but without further ado, the one you guys have all been waiting for, I know it, you know it, Ball Balls, Prism PSA 10s, um, this is straight up, if you guys have any right now, before we even look at his prices, sell the thing right now, um, I personally, you know, I know a lot of people are making a lot of money and probably, you know, could possibly make some more money, but Ball Ball, you know, if I, if I had money in him, I would be, you know, staying up all night worried about that because his injury, you know, he's very injury prone if you guys don't know. Ball Ball has not been able to stay healthy and, you know, he has one incredible preseason game. He played well yesterday too, but, you know, his prices are not justifiable at, you know, for $604 for a Prism Silver PSA 10, you know, you can get De'Aaron Fox for that price. You can, you know, almost get a Tatum base Prism PSA 10. You know, I just think Ball Ball is, oh my gosh. I can't believe people are paying these prices. Um, But yeah, if you guys have any in your holding, I wish you good luck. It's 
probably the biggest gamble right now I can think of off the top of my head. Um, but, you know, who knows? Maybe it'll double again. I don't know. But if it were me, I would have sold that thing yesterday. Um, and, yeah, that's definitely me. I know it's, you know, I would take that money and put it in someone who's a lot, you know, more, I guess, sustainable and, you know, more justified to be a $600 silver prism PSA 10. Um, I'm just kind of blown away how the hobby, you know, my thoughts are if the hobby is going this crazy over a guy having a good preseason game, you know, imagine what will happen if a guy has a good finals game, right? If Kawhi has a crazy finals game, I wonder what will happen to his prices because this is quite crazy, honestly. Um, I cannot believe, you know, the prices on these ball balls. Um, whoever made some money with these, whoever was investing, whoever PC'd, um, ball ball you definitely you know can buy a new house with that if you pc ball ball um but yeah that's quite insane his prices um my personal opinions to sell i know other guys might be thinking to hold and make some more money but my thoughts are you can't get greedy um you take your profits and run because especially with the guy this injury prone tomorrow this could be two dollars if he gets injured um so he hasn't really proven much at all um he's a 44th pick um, had one good game and boom here we are with you know a $600 prism PSA 10 silver so um, That's my personal opinion. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video Once again, if you would like to join my membership and make some money with us click the link bl down below to sportscardsinvest.com Use code YouTube for 10% off other than that. I hope you all enjoyed and I'm out peace